Patrick's Garage. Hello there friends, today we are talking about carburetor Zenith Strombeck, about throttle shaft of this carburetor. Throttle shaft wears out more faster than throttle shaft bushing, because the throttle shaft made of bronze and throttle shaft bushing made of steel. Bronze is very soft metal. So we can replacing throttle shaft several times before the throttle shaft bushing has starts wears out. But what should we do if the throttle shaft bushing starts wear out and sucks air a little? If we look uh, closely enough, we see clearance and uh, worn off shaft. In any way, I like this one barrel carburetor. On it, uh, very simple to work. And you don't have to deal with all that crap of later carburetors. And uh, to me, I find it kind of reliable. I want to clean it. Have patience, it doesn't take that long. And now we make sure that uh, throttle shaft really worn out. If the throttle shaft worn out, it's hardly enough to adjust the idling. I close with rock place from main jet. I removed the main jet for replacing rubber rings. A lot of dirt on the body of the carburetor. It will be work better. I'm not kidding. And very gingerly and gently put a little bit on of the carb cleaner. To clean throttle shaft plate we need unscrew two screws. Also we can check uh, condition of the throttle shaft. Very very worn out. I can't find oversize of throttle shaft. In this case I need oversized throttle shaft because bushing starts worn out or maybe making oversized shaft and i need replacing rubber rings of main jet adjustable main jet it was used with b18 engine volvo amazon and early 140 series this adjustable main jet very convenient for adjusting we not need special tools. Check throttle lever, return spring in good condition. So we can uh, clean all this part and put it in its place. Main jet need to be installed and of course need to be adjusted. It need to be centering to be exact. For this we can using a needle only without spring. After adjusting I put the needle for 2 liter engine. The main jet must be centered and the throttle shaft plate also need to be centered. Piston goes down without any problems. And centering the throttle plate. Now I haven't decided how to restore the shaft yet. But my thoughts about uh, making oversized uh, throttle shaft. But in the meantime, we can using the oil removing cap, at least from the worn side. I put these parts on the wire to not confuse with it. All of this cleaned looks uh, like new and install it into its place. I don't want replacing the throttle bushings. You know, new models of Stromberg had seals. I don't really trust the bushing replacement kits. It would be a good solution if you have a experience in using them. The bushings are installed in the cast carburetor body in the factory. I don't want to ruin the carburetor by replacing the bushings. To prevent air suction, I want to install this seal. 
Needless to say, the case was in warning of shaft, but I want to install it. And maybe it wouldn't suck air anymore. Of course, this oil seal does not match in size. And we try fit it with hammer. Maybe without oil, maybe then using sealant. But the bushing is shorter and wider, and we can't fit it perfect. Maybe I'll uh, just put a new shaft later. Strangely enough, and I still can't figure it out why Strombeck not making oversized uh, throttle shaft for repairing. Anyway, these carburetors are notorious for lasting forever. Maybe we need to add a little oil for shaft. You could do anything with this carburetor if you want to spend the time and the money to do it. Beautiful, reliable carburetor. And I'm not kidding. You can always come up with something. So that's no problem whatsoever. In our days, we can easily find all these authentic parts. But we can't find oversized throttle shaft. Maybe by OEM standard size. Probably that's a minor flaw with a bushing worm. Today I decided to throw out this old muffler. Old crappy rotten silencer. These are rubber bands you can buy even today. I've never said that one of the faults that many old car owners and garage guys exhibit is this unwillingness to leave the old rusty part. Just I need some space in a garage. And so I decided to throw it away. I still have to replace uh, the rubber mounts for the muffler. So that's the another topic for today. And now let's get under the car and uh, replace the rubber mounts of the exhaust pipe. These uh, rings shown here in the exhaust system diagram. Now here rear silencer from my another car. This exhaust system now available today. I just coated it with a piece of steel. Let's unscrew this old rusty holder. This part now also difficult to find. And now we need only these uh, cheapest rubber rings. These fasteners are very cheap, but it's good when you always have them when they need. Therefore, it's good to buy several at once. Obligatory rope for installing these rings. This is the tried, true and proven way. And uh, probably maybe if you want, you get wire brush. You could uh, clean it all rust off and then paint it with primer coat. So the rust uh, wouldn't be there in these uh, rarity parts if you wanted to of course so if you find this exhaust system maybe dirt cheap buy it fast before the next guy does you see not difficult to install i couldn't find uh, new silencers so i restored the old ones now the rings in its place so good these rubber rings wears out from time to time. To some extent it's unavoidable. And uh, how I repaired rare muffler. You see it in the picture. I just get a piece of steel and wraps it around. Then fix uh, this piece of steel at the edge with rivets. And uh, sealed at the edge with epoxy and after that, there are no exhaust leaks all year. In our day, all information available online. No need to store 
old catalogs. Now when you see how easy it is to install seal and replace rubber rings, you'll gladly do it yourself.